Hey guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Drizzle Beauty Chrome Powder Collection. I'm really excited to test and review these for you guys, so let's get right into it. Now a little bit back, I did a review of Drizzle's um, At Home Gel Manicure Kit. I really enjoyed using it. You can check out the video up here if you're interested. But I didn't get to trying out the chrome powder they sent me, so I'm going to do that in this little video today. All right, so what's inside here? We have six different chrome powders here. They are all packaged individually in these little bags, and they all have their sponge applicator. So here they are. It just looks like these two silver ones here spilled a little bit. So it's good that they were in their own little bag, but, but that should be fine. So now I'm going to be uh, swatching out all of these colors. And like the introduction said, it's best to do a solid uh, black or dark color for the maximum impact. So I'm going to be doing swatches of all of these colors over black so you guys can see what they look like. And then I'm going to do a design after that on my mannequin hand. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so here are all of the colors guys. They were all super easy to buff into the no wipe top coat and I really like these colors. We have kind of like a dark black silver. We have a flaky holographic, a more fine holographic, and then we have kind of a mirror-like silver gold and then rose gold, which are all really pretty. So very nice collection. And now I'm going to actually do some nail art with these. Again, on my mannequin hand, I think I'm going to do something kind of like an ombre with some colors and then maybe try that trend where you put the soap bubbles over it and it makes it all textured. I think that'd be neat. I think I'm going to do it with the black and the gold. I don't know, I just think those will look kind of neat together. So yeah, let's get right into that. So I already have all the nails of my mannequin hand painted black and then the no white top coat put over the top and then cured. So to do the ombre first I'm sponging in a good amount of each of the colors on both sides of the nails. I'm doing the black or the silver first and then I'm doing the gold and then I'm going back to the black applicator and just kind of smudging around the middle and that is the way I was doing mine and then I just took a brush just brushed it down and there it is so pretty and then I'm just repeating that process But all right guys, this is what they all look like after they're done. They're so, so shiny and reflective. I think this actually looks really cool just by itself. And 
And then I'm going to use, I'm just going to use an orange stick here and just try to scoop up some of the bubbles and put them on the nail. And I realized that I probably would have to do one nail at a time because the bubbles were just all disappearing too fast. So I did that, I put one of the nails under and I just took it out. And there it is, there is the effect for sure. So very interesting, almost like scaly or something. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to go repeat that on the other nails. This one, uh, the bubbles were a lot bigger, so you can tell it looks quite a bit different than the first one I did. And there you have it, textured ombre chrome nails. I don't really know if I would actually wear these out. Maybe I would just do the ombre with a glossy top coat over it, because that was definitely cool. But um, this is definitely a very neat textured effect. And I definitely know that there's lots of cool creative ideas people have thought of of using this technique, so. Well, all right guys, that is the end of today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching. Comment below your thoughts on these chrome powders, what you think about them. If you haven't checked out yet the video I did with Drizzle Beauty when I reviewed their gel manicure kit, I will have that uh, video below. Follow me on Instagram for photos of nails I post in between videos, and I do some Instagram reels now every once in a while, so those are fun. Also, a big thank you to Drizzle Beauty for sending this kit for me to try out. I do have a code for you guys, the Polish Queen 10, when you can save 10% off your order of anything from Drizzle Beauty. And a big thank you to you all for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video on next Wednesday. And until next time, have a magical day.